Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, DwyerVIP.com. This is a short video, the day of the fight. Today is April 22nd, 2017. But first, remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, there is a fighter fighting today. In a fight, he should dominate. He is the WBO unbeaten super middleweight champion Gilberto Ramirez. Now he's fighting a guy, Max Bursak, who's already lost to stick and movers like Hassan Andem, like Jared Fletcher. Right? Bursak has a problem getting past a jab. He can't handle length and movement and of course Ramirez who's already beaten Arthur Abraham made him look like a potted plant is six two and a half and moves extremely well he has simply put some of the best legs in boxing now let me say this about Ramirez I'm expecting him to dominate today my prediction here is simply that Ramirez who is the favorite and who should be the favorite will successfully defend his WBO super middleweight title. The reason why we should all keep track of Ramirez is Ramirez is a southpaw. He's very hard to reach and he wants to fight Gennady Golovkin. Right now understand the weight gap. Golovkin walks around at super middle if not light heavy but he fights at 160 pounds right Ramirez strikes me as a guy who lives around 168 pounds in other words I don't get the feeling that this athlete gains a lot of weight between fights now people who saw the Danny Jacobs fight I don't fall into this group but many of you do right believe that Jacobs as a southpaw gave Golovkin all he could handle now Jacobs did but I thought it was because of the different look right Jacobs is an orthodox fighter then he shifted to southpaw it took away Golovkin's jab Golovkin mid-fight wasn't ready to make the adjustments right I believe if Jacobs had started out the fight as a southpaw I believe Golovkin would have figured it out well understand Ramirez is a southpaw with length right if you believe in Ramirez then you believe that his southpaw stance length and movement would give him an opportunity to upset one of the biggest names in boxing right Golovkin who ironically many in the boxing public now doubt because of the closeness of the Jacobs fight Right? If you want to call a fight where Golovkin gets the one knockdown, is never hurt, and doesn't lose a single scorecard, right? Competitive. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. But here's the one thing I think I know. And this is why you really need to look at Ramirez closely. I believe if Ramirez wanted, he could take on the winner of the fight taking place at 164 pounds right that's Canelo Saul Alvarez against Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. I believe Ramirez beats both of those guys handily right I don't think Canelo moves well enough to deal with a taller stick and mover and Ramirez is a bit deceptive because while he looks like a pretty boy, right? Looks like it's all style, you know, over substance. Understand that as I make this video, he has a KO ratio of about 70%. Right? So Ramirez has a punch. Something kept Arthur Abraham outside. I think Ramirez would be too mobile for Saul Alvarez, right? Keep in mind, Alvarez is about to fight at 164. For those of you who believe that, you know, Saul Alvarez isn't a real middleweight, he's about to fight four pounds over the middleweight limit. 
if he added four pounds or if there was a catch weight between 164 and 168. If he were to sign the fight, Gilberto Ramirez, just pay attention to this guy's name. I don't believe Canelo would have a chance. Right? Let's go further. Right? I personally would take Golovkin over Ramirez, but I understand. There are differences of opinion out there. But understand, Ramirez fights has a share of the title in James DeGale's division. Right? That's another monster fight. Just understand, though, that DeGale, like Golovkin, has a lot of ring coverage. Look at how far out he is in the Brandon Gonzalez fight when he starts changing the angles of his punches and landing on Gonzalez. I don't believe DeGale would have a problem reaching Ramirez. But do understand that the Gales' one loss came to a guy, came against a guy who was sticking and moving. George Groves. Right? If you believe that the Gale has a problem with guys who stick and move, then he would be vulnerable against Southpaw Gilberto Ramirez. So, right, if you don't know who Gilberto Ramirez is, just pay close attention to his fight tonight against Max Berzak. Right? This is one of those fighters who, quite frankly, is lesser known than he should be. I personally feel he beats Canelo easily. I know there's a group of you out there who feel that I have a bias against Canelo. Whatever. Right? Again, just understand Canelo at best 5'8". Gilberto... Ramirez, 6'2 and a half. With reach, with an excellent jab, Southpaw might be able to take away Canelo's jab. Right? You can't hurt what you can't reach. Anyway, he's unbeaten. He's a WBO super middleweight champion. And he's fighting tonight. I hope you give his fight a look. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. I hope you leave your comments in the comment section to this video. Let me add this to. A lot's happening one floor up at light heavyweight. A lot. But just understand, even though Ramirez fights at 168, he's a young guy in his 20s with a big frame. His game, speed, movement, distance, a jab, might translate well one division up, right? There's a possibility he could stay outside, accumulate points, right? Against perhaps, you know, a Jean Pascal or some others in that division. So you need to view this as really just the first part of Gilberto Ramirez's career. There's a possibility this young man might eventually win multiple titles. Keep in mind, too, one floor up at light heavy. You got a bunch of guys in their 30s, don't you? Andre Ward and Kovalev are both in their 30s, aren't they? As is Adonis Stevenson. Right? Father time's going to beat us all sooner or later. The young guys at the gate are going to storm the palace. This is one of the young guys to watch. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. Let's have the discussion. I hope you leave your comments on the 168-pound weight class on unbeaten WBO super middleweight champion Gilberto Ramirez uh, on the possibility of him fighting the winner of Canelo, Julio Cesar Chavez Jr., if that Canelo-Golovkin fight falls through, and on the possibility of him fighting Golovkin, trust me, Ramirez is one of the few people in boxing who actually wants the Golovkin match, and I'm just here to tell you he'd do a hell of a lot better than Billy Joe Saunders. I hope you take a look at this young man. Thanks for stopping by.